Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn what are facets and how to use facets in SQL Server. So basically, uh, this is my own definition. Uh, this is not written anywhere. This is just my way of understanding facets in SQL Server. So facets are logical properties. That is combination of various physical properties of target objects. When we talk about targets object, we're talking about SQL Server as a whole which means SQL Server engine uh, and database. And when we it comes to SQL Server instance, that is all the physical properties of a SQL Server name, memory, um, and other physical properties of SQL Server. And in database, it's uh, all the objects, tables, views, um, store procedure, functions, and all those physical properties we had to basically uh, before um, the concept of facets we had to fetch them manually one by one combine them together to make something out of that so when facets um, concept came in what they did was created a logical property of those um, various type of target objects uh, that is related to SQL Server instance or database and put it in one logical property. So one logical property has various physical properties of a database. Let's take an example. One database has various properties and if there is a facet which we'll see in a second, uh, the database facet. So when you click on database facet that's a logical property however it contains uh, so many physical properties of the database related property like uh, database collation database uh, uh, um, uh, data files and etc so let's go ahead and take a look basically these are facets are part of uh, policy management in SQL Server and they are used in policy management we will go through another demo uh, to create a um, policy on SQL Server and evaluate the policy on a certain um, uh, SQL Server instances so uh, basically I want to uh, make sure that you understand the concept of facets and you look through how many facets are uh, available in SQL Server keep in mind that facets in SQL Server cannot be modified so let's go ahead and take a look this is my SQL Server instance right here in order to go to facets you need to expand the management uh, up here and go to the policy management as I said they are part of policy management and click on facets if you wanted to know that how many facets are in SQL Server 2014 2010 uh, 2008 and uh, 2012 and if you have installed any of that you can click on facet and it will open the all the facet that's available for us to use so let's take uh, take an example of database facet so I'm gonna go ahead and right click and go to the properties as you can see right here so what I was uh, talking about earlier that before facets came in we had to basically go ahead and get the physical properties such as mirroring timeout owner page verify read only we still do that in a way in many cases uh, basically size status available but now in facets it came this is a logical property called database logical database all the uh, exposes properties of database objects so these properties are put together so you can basically go ahead and use this facet and play with the different properties of this uh, uh, a particular database so facets are part of policy management if you wanted to implement a policy on a particular SQL Server instance or SQL Server instances you can use one of the facet or multiple facets in policy management and enforce that policy on different SQL Server instances if uh, anything that is out of that policy you can tell right away that okay so this is out of our policy so either needs to be fixed or it needs to be dropped so basically uh, if you go ahead and look this is server level facet up here server security and store procedure as you can see that that's a part of a database so these are basically uh, the um, uh, logical containers uh, in a way that uh, uh, to me logical properties of many physical properties put together and as you can see they are you can count them but they cover SQL server as a whole so we will be using facets in order to basically create a policy you need to have a condition defined when you define a condition you need to select basically the facet which excuse me which facet that you wanted to use and put a condition around that and use that condition in policy and make a SQL Server uh, policy 
so that you can go ahead and evaluate any SQL Server instance. And I hope this video helps.